over the past generation, our region engineered a comeback by investing in human capital coming out of our colleges and universities uh, to create entire new industries in healthcare and life sciences and information and communications technologies. There may be even better ideas and greater potential all around us today. Some of the best and brightest turn up from time to time at Project Olympus, an initiative of Carnegie Mellon University that showcases promising technologies and the innovators who are bringing them to market. Yet investment may be harder than ever to come by. Uh, Kit Needham is senior uh, business advisor with Project Olympus. Carlos uh, Castrin is a founder of FlashGroup.com and an associate professor at Carnegie Mellon University. And Darren Olson is founder and CEO of Romania and a 2011 MBA graduate at Carnegie Mellon. Welcome. Good to see all of you. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Thank you for having us. to be here. Yeah, Kit, we feature Project Olympus a couple of times off and on over the years, but for folks who aren't current, what exactly is it? We are the incubator for faculty and students and staff that want to start new businesses while they're at the university. So we help them, even if it's just nothing more than just an idea. Uh, sometimes they've gone a little bit further, but we are trying to be an economic development agency for this for the region, and we're succeeding. I've been over to see your shows, shows and tells, however you describe that, from time to time. Fascinating that the folks with the ideas get up and kind of present them to the community in a way. Yes, and we've had over 70 projects that we've accepted into the program. We have a number that have launched that are hiring people from... We've had engaged over 200 students in the various projects, so they're learning uh, all about entrepreneurship. Uh, over $9 mil million dollars have been invested in our students uh, and our faculty, uh, not our money, other people's money that believe in what we're doing. So uh, we are trying to keep our best and brightest here as well as to capitalize on the phenomenal research and technology that takes place in the university. Very cool. Carlos, tell me about flashgroup.com. What is that exactly? So um, I'm a professor in Carnegie Mel at Carnegie Mellon Computer Science, and along with Seth Goldstein, a another professor, we decided to start a company that brings together the right people around the right idea at the right time with the right intention. So the way to think about this is people just want to connect with each other who have the same intention at the same time. So if you think about your show, there's a ton of people watching, I'm sure, and they have the right intention here, but it's hard for them to connect with each other. It would be interesting for them to connect to discuss ideas like Project Olympus, which has been a great resource for us. But they, it's hard to find and find those people to connect with. So what we do is con find, find the information that's most useful to you. And once you find that information, connect you with people who are interested in discussing it at the right time. So you could create almost an instant group of our region's business and viewers who could exactly. talk about Project Olympus while it's happening, right? Exactly, yeah. To do it. And that's what we call a flash group. A flash so group. It would like be a flash, flash mob. It's we like a flash mob, that, right? a flash okay. group discussing this particular topic. And we can do this around all sorts of information. It can be blogs, it can be the news, it can be TV, it can also be Facebook or Twitter, all sorts of information that are currently overwhelming us. And we're using machine learning algorithms that we've developed in connection with Carnegie Mellon, we're able to find the information you most care about right now. So based on what you clicked and your background, I discovered that you're interested in wine, for example, and you want to discuss wine lovers uh, with wine lovers the kind of taste you have right now. And those people might not have the same interest with you when it comes to sport, but when it comes to your wine decision right now, which we're going to learn about from Project Romania, those are good people to discuss with. And, and so that's what we discovered. Find each other and begin to have the conversation and, 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 and get together as a group. Really cool. Now, in Project Romania, speaking of wine, right. what exactly do you guys do? Uh, we help people enjoy wine more. <laughs> so, because uh, people need help, right? <laughs> um, what we do right now is we provide at, in restaurants iPad wine menus. And so that allows people who come to the restaurant uh, to make their decisions based on something other than price. I always take the second cheapest one. Right. <laughs> You've heard me speak. <laughs> um, yeah, so right now most people are price shopping and most people that price shop default towards the lower price points. Hmm. Um, and what happens there is restaurants are leaving money on the table. Beverages like wine and spirits being the biggest margin drivers, the biggest profitability drivers for restaurants, they need to be selling their wines better in order to improve their profitability. So that's what we're doing. On the consumer side, people are paying more money and loving it. And on the restaurant side, we're helping them to become more profitable. Okay, well, and, and how did Project Olympus help you get this idea to market? So uh, 
I, I'm a CMU MBA student. Uh, my partner was as well, uh, which is great. We have a lot of internal resources. Uh, but what Project Olympus allowed us to do is really connect to the external community. Um, like uh, Kit was saying, uh, in terms of the follow-on investments, um, I think that primarily Project Olympus is responsible for us getting into Alpha Lab, hmm. uh, which is a local incubator. Initiative of Innovation Works exactly. that gives companies a chance to really get their sea legs. Yeah. Right, that's exactly right. And, and Project Olympus helped us all along the way to really get to the point where we were able to uh, be an attractive candidate to them. Well, oh, Carlos, you're on the faculty. So you, I would think there's already a structure in place to help faculty members get ideas into the market. How did Project Olympus help you? It's been instrumental for us. When Seth and I thought about flashgroup.com, we were very interested in the algorithms and methods and ideas and technology, really, because we're really technologists. But thinking about transferring that technology into the consumer market requires us to think about ideas that were not in the forefront of our minds, from raising money, through investment, through marketing, and so on. And through the building of flashgroup.com and thinking about Project Olympus together, Project Olympus has helped us understand the space, navigate the space, connect even within the University of the Technology Transfer Office, and get this technology out to consumers. And it's been really instrumental for us, and we're very thankful to them for the project. I suspect there's lots more of these uh, in the hallways out there. Yes, Carnegie Mellon. I just signed on six new ones uh, in the past six days. Wow. Yes, that have just uh, found us. And so what's, what's, what's it going to take to take all of this to the next level and make sure more of these companies get out into the market? Well, we need investment. We would love to have investment in Project Olympus, but we also need investment in the businesses. And we need space. <laughs> that if anybody has some space above their shop or someplace for two, three, or five, uh, doesn't have to be fancy, just some place you can get, get to the Internet, um, that People are knocking down the doors trying to find that space. Wow. All right. Well, it's called Project Olympus. I'm sure you can find them with a quick internet search. Thank you all so much. Really exciting. Great to see it happening here in our region. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. And we'll be back in a minute with a little bit more of our region's business. Stay with us.